On this video, we're going to be learning how we can customize the forms to what we actually need on our site. Okay, so let's start out with the home page one. So on the home page, you can see here that we have a top, sub, and location, or a sub, 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 and location. Okay, but we need the keyword. Okay, we might be missing the keyword. So before we start editing this, you need to learn how you can actually change this to your liking. Uh, from the back end without customizing anything and the, the three different ways that you can actually get to a search form uh, Format, so let's start with the home page one so To edit the home page one you go to settings design settings home page and you can see here where it says search box call to action So based on this we're using the top sub and location search which you can visually see here Okay, if we change the vertical look of it to a horizontal one now you'll see that it's it's a it's a it's actually much better because people keep, don't need to scroll so much um, but let's put it vertical and let's change it to another one so you can actually see that the thing is actually changing we're going to change it to a top top sub 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 and, and locations so we're supposed to see now four fields plus the search button okay uh, let's simplify that by going to the top sub again but before we go there you'll notice that there's no keyword top sub and location okay if we start looking here there's actually keywords missing from a lot of them so there's multiple ways that you can do uh what we're what i'm about to do here which is a merge between the keyword and this one here you can either copy the code here and modify a couple of things or you can do a shortcut the shortcut is this. You click on something that has the keyword. We copy that. We go here. Uh, you see the keyword here. Okay. We're going to click. We're not going to click on this field. We're going to click on the label and inspect because sometimes when you click on the actual element, it takes you somewhere else. And we're going to copy that. We're going to hide, move the mouse here until actually we get to that specific one that we want to copy. Okay. Let's copy that. Copy our HTML. And now let's put it to this top sub because we gotta adjust the code. You're gonna see how. So in order to adjust the code, you gotta turn yourself into admin mode. How do you do that? On the back end, you click on this website up here. Okay. Once you click there, it shows you the admin uh, sidebar, which is this thing here this thing here okay and you're going to click on the magnifying glass on the page that you want to edit the widget in so we're in the home page we look for that specific widget by the way blues mean that that widget form menu something is already customized red it means that it's default so here this red one we click on it let me go back here so we can put it back i'm just going to click on the magnifying glass again and that by clicking on that specific widget it takes you to the widget um, search results and you can see the one that we need to edit this one typically I only show one um, so now we want to edit this one um, a lot of these search forms have two modes the vertical one the horizontal one you can see that here's the horizontal one which we have not selected because we selected vertical here so that means that the code that I'm supposed to be editing is at the end of this if statement, which is like here in the middle of the, the widget. So it's here where we put inside this form the, the keyword. Okay, so let's just push this down. We're going to paste this here. And we're just going to double check that everything is the same. Because do know that the 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 keyword field that i just copy has its own styling so if i leave it like i just pasted it here it's gonna look a little bit odd let me refresh and you're gonna see what i mean refresh here and you're gonna see that it looks weird okay we wanted to make it look at least something like this so we need to edit this puppy here so in order to edit that, I can actually do it here live, here, 
and we started looking for certain uh, patterns that this one has that the other ones don't have. Okay. Um, for example, this one. Let's see what it has here. Input some form control. This, this, and that. I think we only need this ones here. Let me go here. Let's change this so it only shows those classes. Maybe this class is affecting this. Oh, here it is. That's what I was looking for. 12, and there we go. Now we have a nice keyword, and, and you can actually use it here. So let me edit that here. That's one way of doing it, by the way. Let me go to the widget manager. Let me edit that here. Mm, there it is, this one. Okay. And yeah, that's one way of doing it. There's multiple ways you can actually, I'm going to show you the other one. So if I refresh here, it should actually look like this. And if you actually type something in, it, it would actually kick in properly. Okay. You can see that I'm getting the Luis ones here. Okay. That specific keyword is missing here because this is an entirely different widget. We're going to be editing that one too, but let's go back here. Okay. So here, that, that was one way of doing it. Another way, and let's remove the whole thing here. It's garbage. Another way is basically copying one of the fields that looks more like the, the keyword thing at the top, which would be the location. Okay. So we're going to copy a location here. Here we have that baby. And we put it at the top again. Actually, we don't even need to. Copy that monster over there. This is the, the vertical one. Okay. Let me put that here. And yeah, 12. We don't need this spam here. And this input, you can simplify like this. This instead of location, it's the queue because the queue is for keywords. Okay. And let's remove basically everything else. So the only things that I just copy, as you can see, are this final three lines. Okay. If I save that and we refresh here without the magnifying glass, we'll be able to see the actual keyword. Okay. This actually works and it does its thing. Now we got to put a placeholder. We got to explain what that um, field is for. So we Put a placeholder saying type a keyword or type a name or type of something. Okay, we refresh. We get this. Okay, now we got to put a label to it. Okay, and we've got to put some spacing between this and the field that's below because if you look at this, they're very close together. So let's put, um, let me see where there, yeah, B margin there. And let's copy, let's copy this here, which is for labels. We put it here and we say keyword search, something along the lines of that. Let me clean this up a bit. And now it should look nice and neat, more aligned to the other ones that are there. Okay, see? So you got to type a keyword and if you type like TDC, for example, you get the the searches for that TEC. But you're going to be like, hmm, I don't see this field over there in the other one. Then let's just do it. Let's do it. Let's copy this. Actually, let's copy all, all the, the ones here. Let's just copy that part. And we're going to edit that search results on the other page. Okay. So for this one, there's two ways of you can find out which one it is or just customize yourself uh, or change it yourself. So I already taught you how you can customize the home page one. So you go to settings, design settings. Okay. And then you go to a uh, home page and there you go. Okay. To edit the one, the search results, there's two ways. Either you go to the toolbox sidebar manager and you edit that 
specific search form here because we're on the member search results. So that's where you're editing the sidebar for the member search results. Or you go to my content edit post settings. Scroll down and you look for the member listing. We click on that one. And then you go to the search results tab and here additional settings. That's where that baby is in. So, see? So here you can change this to another search for the search results page, meaning meaning this one. Um, let me close this. And you can change it to whatever you want. We save it. We can see the name of the widget over there. So let's click on the show widgets, the magnifying glass. And obviously it's going to show you show us that specific widget that we selected on the actual feature. So we click on that baby. Let's edit this baby here. And we're just going to add that additional field that we're missing. So let's just put it there. And let's see, let's see just like this, how it's going to look. So let's click on the magnifying glass again. And we got the type of keyword. You're like, holy Jesus Christ, that's huge. Okay. That's why when you're using styles between searches or even pages, you got to be careful. Just be careful. So here you can see that um, for the different elements that were by default already there, they don't have that, um, this one, input group large. Okay, so let's just remove that from there. And let's remove that from here too. Let's save it. Refresh it and let's see if that fixes the issue. Did it fix the issue? Yes. There's still one more issue. If you're used to optimizing UX user experience and you're like, well, I'm looking for Luis. You get the results, but you're like, hey, didn't I type Luis already? You need to make sure that the user doesn't have to retype everything. Uh, that they type in there every time the page refreshes. So for that particular case, you go to that keyword and at the end you put value equals and then double quotes there. And we put some PHP code here. That's basically just this. As simple as this, that's it. That's all that you need to put there. Okay. Once you put that there, it means that every time they type something here, the field will remember what they typed. Okay. Um, I got to do it again because at that moment, the, the widget didn't have that specific code and this one's smoking something. Let me see. What did I do wrong? Mm -hmm. uh, did I do the prop? Oops. I got the wrong. This is the homepage one. Let me get out of here. I made it in the wrong widget and this is the, yep, this is the correct one. Let me put that baby there. Let me double check that it didn't break something. Yep, there you go. And now it should remember on the next pass um, what I typed, as you can see here. So if I type Luis, I know what I typed, I know what I searched for, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so with that in mind, now you know how you can change the search yourself, but also customize it yourself in different ways, in different ways. Um, and for the keyword, for example, which is the simplest example that I can give you for this type of video, it's as simple as this. And you're even validating if they actually type something, it would automatically show here. If they didn't, then it simply doesn't show. That's it. Okay. And hope the video helps. Big hugs to everybody and think positive as always.